Welcome to Unfiltered, Pixel Pro Audio's weekly show. Today we're going to be talking about the Novation Peak. Hello everybody, welcome back around the drum. I'm Tay, this is Evan, and that's Chris. Hey. And we're here to talk about the Novation Peak. Um, Evan, can you give me, or us in the audience, uh, just an overview of what the Peak is? Yeah, uh, so the Peak is our newest synthesizer. It's a uh, digital analog synthesizer. It's got eight voices of polyphony, so that means you can play chords. Uh, three oscillators, really nice onboard effects. It's a, uh, a workhorse of a synth, and it's got a nice uh, form factor. This is mm -hmm. it, sitting behind us. Yep. Uh, it's on the desktop stand. Uh, this is an optional add-on. Uh, the original Peak will come with uh, wood panels on the side, but you can get this uh, stand, I think it's 99 bucks. And there's two angles. Right now we have it on the, the steeper angle. Oh, right. Yeah. But you can flip the stand around and it won't be, you know, as vertical. A, a, a different angle. Different angle. And I guess what, what kind of connections does it have in the back? Stereo output. It's got a, a CV mod in, so you can, you know, put some Eurorack stuff in there and control the modulations on the peak. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. USB power. Okay. And MIDI in and out and through, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yep. Hey, I'm Evan with Focusrite Novation. Today I'm at Pixel Pro Audio, and uh, I'm gonna be showing off the Novation Peak. So let's get into it. So the Peak is an eight voice polyphonic synthesizer. Uh, so it's a digital analog hybrid. The oscillators are digital, but the mixer and the filter are analog. And uh, so we have three oscillators here, and you have all your standard uh, synthesizer wave shapes. You have your sine, triangle, sawtooth, square. But if I go to more, uh, I have up to 60 wavetables to choose from. So when Peak first launched, it came with 17 wavetables. But with the 1.2 firmware update, uh, we added more. So now there's 60 wavetables total, which means lots of sound design possibilities. So we can just go through a couple here, see what they sound like. So, there's some cool ones in there, and uh, too many to go through right now, but uh, lots of sound design possibilities. But moving on, let's go into the mixer. We have an analog VCA and a gain knob here. You have your oscillator levels, you have a white noise generator, and ring mod for oscillators one and two. And that feeds into the multi-mode filter section. And so, this is a... Uh, a filter based off of the Wasp that uh, Chris uh, Chris Huggett designed. Uh, you can find a similar filter in, in our base station uh, two synthesizer. This one's a little more in depth. We have low pass, band pass, high pass, and 12 and 24 decibel slopes. We have an analog overdrive and full control over the key tracking uh, of the filter. And then that goes into the effects section. And the effects on Peak are actually fantastic. We have an analog distortion, uh, chorus uh, is digital, delay is digital, and the reverb is digital, but they all sound fantastic. And there's a simple bypass button if you want to turn the effects on or off. Uh, at the top here we have our modulation section. So we have two LFOs on the front panel, but there's an additional two LFOs in the LFO menu. So you can see we have one, two, three, and four. So a total of four LFOs. Right here, we have uh, three envelopes. We have an amp envelope and two modulation envelopes. Another cool feature in the 1.2 firmware update is the ability to loop your envelopes. So let's pick a destination for mod envelope one. So we're gonna select that in the mod matrix. 
mod envelope one. Let's pick a destination. Uh, filter frequency is always an easy one. Uh, we'll turn the depth up here. So that is uh, affecting the filter here, but let's make that envelope, <laughs> envelope loop. So we can see we have a repeats option here. So we can have it repeat once, repeat twice, so it'll play three times, or we can turn it all the way up to where it will repeat infinitely. So that's a pretty cool uh, sound design tool to have in your back pocket. But moving on, another great feature in the 1.2 firmware update is the uh, initialize live setting. So before if I hit initialize and hit a key, I'll get a very basic patch, your standard initialized patch. Uh, there's no modulation, no filter uh, cutoff going on, just very basic. But if I go into settings, scroll over to the initialize uh, setting, turn it to live. Now when I hit initialize, the, the physical position of the knobs on the front panel um, are actually going to be what's creating the sound. So what you see is what you get. What's going to come out of the peak right now, I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to find out. Uh, so if I turn live initialize off, hit initialize again, it's just going to be your standard initialize patch. Um, so I think that's pretty much all the new features in Peak Update 1.2. But yeah, lots of sound design capabilities on the Peak. And uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, if you're interested in picking up a Peak, you can get one at Pixel Pro Audio. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And uh, see you next time. Thank you.